We're going to grind. We're going to work. We're going to get rich er. For some of us, we need to get rich, but we're going to get rich er. We're going to live this life of abundance. We're going to do everything that they told us that we couldn't do when we was growing up. You know why? Because we have the option to. Lambo truck coming soon. Stay tuned. 2022 going to be a phenomenal year. All right, y'all. Stay focused. Stay focused. You better get going, get going now. Let me get my other camera. You better get going now from here. We don't talk like that around here. We don't talk like that. right? You better get on going from here. We don't talk that broke talk around here. You better get going for, for he, get, he get back. You better get going. We don't talk that, that trash talk around. We don't talk that getting divorced around here. We don't get divorced around here. We, 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 say, we successfully married around here. Let me know if you've ever heard this saying before. Hard times make strong men. And you can substitute women in there if you want to. Good times make weak men and weak women. I know I'm paraphrasing and I might not even get it right completely, but roll with me on this one. Hard times make strong men. Good times make weak men. When I'm coaching people and one of the things that I was talking about with somebody that I was coaching today was we were going on um, over their content creation because they've been largely successful in their life. They've been able to climb out of hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. They've been successful and all of this other type of stuff. And so we kicking it and we going over it and talking about his content creation and we going over their journey and things like that. And I said, well, what are you giving to people? And they told me what they was giving to people and it was content filled with greatness and, and love and all of that. And then I said, you need to share with them your journey because that's the most powerful thing. And he said, well, Anton, you know, I try to pour into people and I try to share with them my journey. For example, I know this person that I know personally, and I tried to give them the game and all of this other type of stuff. And they stopped me and they said, well, Anton, well, not Anton, that person, but we're going to substitute my name for it. So for the sake of, I don't, I don't share anybody's personal information at all whatsoever. Whatever it is that we talk about is between us. I don't share your personal information at all. But let's just say, for example, it's me. And then I, I say, yo, because I seen somebody on the Lapeef Network last night, one of the callers right before I kind of got off. But I was, you know, taking care of business, trying to prepare for the next day, making sure that I had everything in line. And it was a caller and he was saying some really good stuff. And then he was saying stuff like F money and all of this other type of stuff. And I came back and I came back up and I listened and I took it in and I didn't say anything because it's always, it's not always necessarily wise or it's not needed. One of the things that my dad used to tell me is that he used to say, Anton, is it expedient for you to be able to do certain things? My dad taught me a lot of things. He said, Anton, is it expedient for you to have that conversation? He said, Anton, you got to be a little bit more wise. I said, what you saying, dad? I said, if it's the truth, it's the truth. And I got to say it. He said, but is it expedient? I said, well, what do you mean? He said, if it will fall on deaf ears or it won't necessarily resonate or it doesn't change the dynamic or the trajectory of whoever it is life that you're talking to. It may not necessarily be good for you to say it at that time or at all. I'm becoming a little bit wiser as I get older, as I have these conversations. I've evolved from the first time that I ever jumped on the internet. Even from last year, I'm a completely different person. I don't even spend as much time on Dusty Dusties anymore. Have you noticed that? I'm self-aware. I jump on and I meditate before I wake, I mean, before I start to start my day. The first thing I do is brush my teeth, pray, and I meditate. I'm self-aware. I check myself. I evaluate how I can do things better than I did the day before. Anton, don't you react to anything emotional? You think about it. Oh, wow. Wow. That's not even a big deal. They was just clout chasing. They getting their money up. Let them have a couple dollars. It's not that big of a deal. It's not expedient to always say something at that time. And so sometimes you sit back and you chill and you listen and you relax. You relax. 
And so sometimes bringing it back to the story, but using it in a different context, because this is not the exact thing that they said, or even the exact type of conversation or category of a conversation that they were having, but I'm going to paraphrase it and I'm going to use it in my own life so you can better relate to it. Somebody will say, Anton, listen, everybody can't be rich. Everybody can't be rich. Some of us is just meant to be regular folk and I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. I don't want to do the work. I don't want to grind. I don't want to get there. I'm cool with being regular. Listen, Anton, the statistics say, the statistics say me and JB had a really great interaction last night. Me and JB had a great interaction on the Lapeef Let's Talk show yet last night. And JB said, well, the statistics say you have a 50-50 chance in being successfully married and being married at all. He said being married. He didn't say being successfully married. He said being married. I said, but JB, there's context that needs to be added to that conversation. He said, what you mean? I said, so for example, what if I told you that the higher your income is, the more likely you are to be successful in your marriage? It changes depending on what tax bracket you're in. He said, yeah, that's true. I said, and then what if it changes even more if you guys are spiritually aligned and you have the same cultural beliefs and the percentage goes higher. He said, that's interesting. My point being is that you determined, you determine the direction of your life and how things are going to go. It's not based off luck it's based off of intention. But also on top of that, I would say to the person that continues to tell me, well, I can't be rich. You never will be. You never will be. You don't even know what you don't know because you've already made up in your mind of what you can't do. The one thing that I've never done in my life as a C student, community college graduate, is that I've never limited myself based off of what I think because I didn't even know what my potential was. But my advice to you is to leave them there. Leave them there in the comfort of their mediocrity. Leave them there and stop trying to have a conversation that's not expedient, back to what my father told me, that's not expedient and adding value to something that's just taking your words, throwing it on the floor and just walking right on top of it. Why would you continue to throw your pearls to swine? They don't even know the value of them at all. They have no understanding as to what it is that they missing out on and their ignorance will be their bliss. They're blissfully ignorant because they've already subjected themselves to a lower level of thinking and frequency. They'll take in all of the toxicity. They'll listen to every single rap song from every single rapper that they can find. They'll subject themselves to the friends for the streets. They'll put, put all of their energy into the things that's not conducive for their life. And then the minute that you tell them that they can be better for themselves than they currently are, they'll reject you. They'll reject you. And that's why I call you guys my tribe. I call you my tribe because it's always going to be less of us than them, but we'll always have more money and be more powerful than the majority. We'll always have more money and be more powerful than the majority because we understand now as we continue to grow each other, how money works, how business works. We don't even look at, we don't even look at chasing the bag to mean the same thing that they do because we completely have a different mindset and how it is that we're approaching success. You see what happened when Alequandria said that she got that job? We all celebrated, we all congratulated. You know what usually happens when somebody brings positive information around toxic people? They plot, they plan, they wanna set them up, they hating and they talking behind their back. That's not what we do here, we win. We don't run in the victim Olympics. We don't make excuses. We understand that life happens to us all and we there for each other necessarily when it happens. But at the same time, you're going to have to pick up and get up and get up off that floor and grind. It's hustle time. It's hustle time. It's grind time.
It's grind season. We don't wait to the new year to start making our resolutions. We living in it right now. We already making the adjustment. If you failed over and over again, that's not a bad thing. Remember what I said in the beginning of this live stream. Hard times make strong people, strong men and women. So we just going to say people. Hard times make strong people. Good times let you get comfortable and it, it makes weak men. We going to get to this bag. We going to win. You know the question that I hear all the time? You know, listen, my life is an open book. My life is an open book. You know the question that I hear all the time? People watch every single move I make. Every vlog that I drop, they like, Anton, I can't believe you eating dessert. Anton, you haven't won when it came to your fitness. Anton is continuously work. That is something that I have been struggling with probably for the last two years because I've spent overwhelming majority of my time on working and neglecting everything else in my life. But guess what? I'm going to get there. I promise you. I, before my last breath and the hairs on my chinny chin chin turn fully gray, if I got to keep dyeing my beard to make sure it don't, I promise you, I am going to get there when, with regard to my fitness. I'm going to be looking like Cap. You know what Captain looked like on my other life? Not Captain America. He more built than Captain America. I look to Cap for my inspiration. Every single day, I'm driving toward, listen, I don't care if I failed 100 times out of 100, I am going to get there. I promise you I'm going to get there. You think that it's over? You think the same, we all got problems. We all got, pro every single person, including the person that's rich and all of that, do you see me complaining about it? No. I listen to it. I take it as constructive criticism and motivation. I say, you know what? I do got to get it. I do got to get it. It's not enough to just be regular. It's not enough to just rest on my laurels and get comfortable with the fact that I got a lot of money. It's not enough to know that I got the girl. I have to be perfection in every aspect of my life. And oh yeah, we going to get it. We going to get it. I'm not comfortable. I work harder than I ever have in my entire life in my entire life and I'm up higher than I ever have in my entire life but you know why I'm not comfortable because I don't have the mindset of people when you come to them and try to give them some game on how they can improve their life and say you can be rich you can be fit you can have an awesome life with an awesome marriage that you don't have to worry about divorce and losing half of your stuff in yeah you can have that too you can have a career, you can have good kids, you can have a great network and friends, you can travel, you can wear Versace, you can do anything that you wanna do in your entire life and you will only be limited by your imagination, your effort and not being intentional. But if you wanna live in mediocrity, then I don't have anything for you and I need y'all to stop trying to convince people to be the best version of themselves for themselves and walk away. Walk away because it's not to be taught, it's to be revealed. It's to be revealed. Half of y'all in this live stream today came here and you didn't like what I had to say the first time that you heard it. You thought, oh, he too arrogant, oh, he too this, what You stuck around long enough in order to understand what the real vibes was though. I'm not to be taught, I'm here to be revealed. Everything has to be revealed. Some people have to go through some things in order to get to the space to where they can even truly hear. They got an ear to hear now. You have to walk away. Be there, be available when they decide that they want to change their life, but you cannot waste time throwing pearls to swine. We're not doing that no more. Our time is money. My time is people. We doing it completely different now. We going into a whole new year and we going to have a different mentality about what success look like and it don't look like what your friends been telling you. Listen, if the next person come up to you and tell you what rich people were supposed to do, ask them how rich they've been. Well, how would you know? Wow, you don't have any information? Why would you take broke people's advice in the same way that we telling single people to stop giving marriage advice? We tell them, stay your ass up out of their marriage. Why you keep hanging out with your single friends? Get on up out of there. You better get go, go, get gone. Get on out of there. But yet we want to take financial advice from broke people. And broke people is trying to criticize rich people and tell them how they supposed to live. I'm sorry, Freaky Jason. Who are you? 
Who are you? Be thankful you can eat off of our name. Divest yourself. Divest yourself from the worst versions of us so that you can then grow into being the flower and the great person that you are. No longer are we continuing to have these conversations in an echo chamber. We're going to get uncomfortable. We're going to grind. We're going to work. We're going to get richer. For some of us, we need to get rich, but we're going to get richer. We're going to live this life of abundance. We're going to do everything that they told us that we couldn't do when we was growing up. You know why? Because we have the option to. Lambo truck coming soon. Stay tuned. 2022 going to be a phenomenal year. All right, y'all? Stay focused. Stay focused. You better get going, get going now. Let me get my other camera. You better get going now from here. We don't talk like that around here. We don't talk like that. right? You better get on going from here. We don't talk that broke talk around here. You better get gone for, for he, get, he get back. You better get gone. We don't talk that, that trash talk around. We don't talk that getting divorced around here. We don't get divorced around here. We, 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 say, we successfully married around here. You better get gone on from that. We don't do that.